Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Declassified Lexus Auto Secrets. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. Uh, you can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. I'd also like to tell you about HollywoodIsCalling.com. It's a great service that allows you to purchase live phone calls from your favorite celebrities. So check it out. There are more than 100 celebrities to choose from, and prices start at just $19.95 for a call. Give it a try. HollywoodIsCalling.com. Now, let's get started. Are you in the market for a new or used car? Well, today we're going to reveal some of the secrets that make Lexus cars so popular and such great sellers. But before we do, we want to give you some background. There are a number of well-made cars out there, but the vast majority of them are not reliable. It's obvious that many cars are now manufactured to last for a year or two, and then things go terribly wrong. Things break down, things, things become unreliable, they work sporadically, uh, it, it's just a mess. Most people make the mistake of buying the least expensive car they can find and then worrying about the rest later. That's why there is so much emphasis being placed on price. Everyone searches for the best price, on, uh, but what most people don't realize is that there are several components to the price of a car. The first component is what you'll pay for the car at the time of purchase, new or used. That's the one everybody will focus on. The next major component of a price is the cost of repairs over the life of the car. Let's say that you purchase a, a five-year-old car and you get a great price on it. But what you don't realize is that that particular uh, name brand that you purchased has a lot of mechanical problems, faults, and an extensive history of breakdowns. It is very difficult to take a car to a local auto repair shop these days and get a repair bill for less than $1,000. For some reason, it's amazing how $1,000 has become the new throwaway price. They just want you to assume like $1,000 is nothing. It's the new minimum. So uh, if you take the same car with the same problems to a dealer, then you'll often find that they'll try and charge you two to $5,000 for those same mechanical problems plus many other things that they will miraculously find and recommend that you also have fixed. Unfortunately, the way some dealers pay their mechanics is that they will pay them a percentage of the repair costs. So if the computer at the dealer estimates that the repair for your car will take four hours, four service hours, um, and the mechanic that fixes it um, actually manages to do so in an hour rather than four hours, the system will still charge you for the estimated four hours of labor um, that, uh, and then the, the, the mechanic will get his percentage of that four hours, even though he only took an hour to fix it. That's why dealers love when you can drop a car off because if you're sitting there watching and you see that it only took an hour, that can pose a problem for them. So why does all this matter? Well, it matters because People rarely calculate the cost of future repairs into the total cost of their cars. You can buy one type of used car and pay $10,000 for it, and then incur another $10,000 in repair costs over the next seven years. Or you can buy a used Lexus and incur $500 in repair costs over the next seven years. So which is better? Obviously, it'll be the Lexus. And that's why so many people love them. They don't mind paying a little more up front, uh, but then having more reliability and lower repair costs over the life of the car. So what's Lexus's secret? Why are they so great? Well, now we're going to reveal some of those secrets. The first thing we're hearing is that to qualify for a job at Lexus, you must first work for Toyota at least 10 years and then prove yourself with the quality of your work. Toyota owns Lexus. And if a worker impresses Toyota, over their 10 year, 10 year work history there, then Toyota will allow them to apply for a job at Texas. Here are some other reasons that Lexus is ranked as the most reliable compact car, sedan, 
and premium SUV. By the way, their most reliable vehicle, the most popular is the ES version of the Lexus. So keep that in mind. Now, one of the big points is their tremendous focus on craftsmanship. They have a word for it called mono zucker. This means taking the time to ensure everything is right. They will make their manufacturing environment super clean. So no dust gets on the engine or any other part of the car while it's on the assembly line. They will torque every bolt on the car to the exact specification or requirement. Everything is done with obsessive attention to detail and specifications. Now, the next thing is training. The staff is constantly being trained on how to maintain the highest standards. Um, they're always trained with new skills in the manufacturing process for tightening connectors, hoses, and even painting. They will have to practice it until they are extremely good at it. Afterwards, uh, they're sent to team leaders for more training and oversight. At the Japanese production facility, they have what they call uh, Takamu masters. Takamu means artisan, and they are masters because their skills, because of their skills and their elevated sensibilities. Now, normally it takes about 10,000 hours to become an expert at something, but with Takami masters, they have to uh, put in 60,000 hours to get certified as a master trainer. Now, here's a really impressive fact. One of the standards a Takami master must possess, and I, I found this to be incredible, but it's amazing. One of the standards a Takami master must possess is that they need to be able to fold an origami cat with their non-dominant hand in 90 seconds to prove that they have the eye, hand, and skills and skill coordination needed for the tasks of the job. The next thing that Lexus does is they make rapid changes based on feedback. They're always going out into the field and meeting with dealers to get the latest feedback from customers. Then they will take that information and try and incorporate those changes into the plant and the manufacturing process to improve it in any way possible. The very next thing that Lexus does is they have a very repetitive testing process throughout the manufacturing process. Lexus will also dry test all of their engines and wet test all of their transmissions. Now, a lot of manufacturers don't do that anymore. First, Lexus will do a roll test on the assembly line, and then they will test drive it on the track to test for noise, vibration, power levels, and other things. If you read consumer reports or visit many of the other online vehicle review sources to see what actual vehicle owners say about their Lexuses, you'll see how pleased they are with their purchases. This is a universal sentiment. People just love those cars. Now, I'm not being paid by Lex to say any of this, but as someone who's owned a number of different brand vehicles over the years, I will tell you that the Lexus reliability is the best I have ever seen. I've taken test drives in some super expensive cars, and whenever I do, the first thing I sense is how much better the design, reliability, and dependability of a Lexus is. I've also had a number of friends who have purchased super expensive sedans, exotic sport cars, and paid six or seven figures for them, and then, then they are always stunned when they break down. There is something very comforting about purchasing a car or something else that is extremely well designed and built. Conversely, when you purchase something new and it breaks down or fails constantly, then that can really wear on your nerves. When it comes to cars that break down a lot, if you live in cold weather states, that can, that can be a real problem. The last thing you want to do is to have your car break down at midnight when it's 10 degrees uh, outside and snowing. So remember, it's not just the purchase price you should look at when buying a car, it's the repair costs that you will pay and, and have to factor into the purchase price over the life of the car. Believe me when I tell you that we believe repair costs are only going to increase over the next 10 years. So that is something you should also keep in mind when deciding which car to purchase. Now, a Lexus may cost a bit more, but when you consider the cost of all the repairs that you won't have to do over the next 10 years, then they become much more desirable. So what is Lexus's secret? It's the way their extraordinary attention to design and quality and craftsmanship and manufacturing processes is built into their cars 
and, and done so in a way that makes them incredibly reliable. And that's just something you don't see in many other car manufacturers. So thank you for watching. I want to tell you that we're going to have more great celebrity interviews and more breaking news stories coming up in the future. So we encourage you to subscribe to our free channel and click on the notification bell so you can get notified every time we post a new story. Thank you, and we shall see you soon. Bye-bye.